everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. And today's video, we're getting into brands I wanna try in 2018. I saw this video from Samantha March. She is a super awesome beauty blogger here on YouTube. Um, I've been following her on Instagram for a couple years now. I watched her kind of grow a lot over the last year. So I love her ideas on her YouTube channel. She picks up some great topics. So if you are um, looking for some new channels to watch, go check her out. But she inspired me to make this video and um, yeah, I know a couple other YouTube friends of mine that have done it, I will link below. So anyways, let's get into the brands that I'm looking forward to trying in 2018. And, and just as a disclaimer, yes, I am wearing the same outfit and the same makeup that you might have seen in the recent video, but that is because I am a normal human being. This is not a Broadway production, and I just don't feel like having to recreate an entire makeup look and change my clothes simply to pop on YouTube and share with you guys some information because I'm a normal person just like you, so yeah, sorry. I'm too lazy to go and change my shirt. I guess that's terrible of me. But anyway, I really like this shirt and I highly recommend getting it. It was from American Eagle and it's super soft. So why would I not want to wear it more than once? All right, anyway. Let's get into these brands. So to start off the uh, list, I have a brand called Mellow. And let me see here. I've been following them on Instagram for a little while and I just love the makeup looks that they come up with and what really catches my attention is their lip colors and their brow colors. It seems like those are two of their really popular things. Um, but there is an Instagrammer that I love. Her name is Kate Kernow. Um, we have similar eye and skin colors and like hair colors. So I like the way she does her makeup a lot, but she tried out a couple things from them. Um, their treasure, treasure chest eyeshadow palette mainly, and their liquid lipstick in Budapest that really caught my attention. So I want to try those and I will link her Instagram and mellow cosmetics Instagram below. What's really cool about them is they also, um, are a vegan cruelty free brand so I definitely want to get into a little more of that. I don't use exclusively cruelty free and vegan cruelty free and vegan products right now, but of course it would be great if I can incorporate more into my routine. Um, who wouldn't want that? And they do ship worldwide, so that's good to know. And they're paraben free. So another one new to me from the Instagram world is MBA Cosmetics, and they really focus on pressed glitters. They are also cruelty free and they are sold from Etsy. So even more like niche of a following, really cool. Um, I'll drop in some pictures here of their pressed glitters. They're insane. Like the look, I don't know if you're even gonna be able to tell on this picture. Yeah, you can kind of see. They're so gorgeous. Like, ah, oh, I love sparkly things, who doesn't? Uh, another brand, this is more of in the skincare realm, is Moon or Mun Skin, M-U-N. And this I know I'm definitely going to be trying because I've actually talked to the brand and thankfully um, they're going to send me a little test kit so I can try out some of their stuff. But they are very focused on like glowing skin and um, like they have a lot of oils in their products if I remember correctly, but I don't know. Um, I follow my a friend of mine, she's a beauty blogger. Her name is, her blog's name is 13 Thoughts, but we both struggled with acne prone, oily skin, and she's been using their products during her Accutane treatment this past year and has been saying nothing but great things. And I really trust her um, advice on skincare. Yeah. Um, it seems like they have this face kit that includes a cleanser, a hydrating rose toner, and a brightening youth serum. I'm really interested in checking out this youth serum, of course. Give me all the brightening things for my skin. Um, very much like a holistic approach to the skin. So yeah, um, another one, organic, vegan, cruelty-free, natural, and sustainably sourced. So really interested in going on that route this year. So pretty cool. We'll see how that is. Uh, I want to try stuff from Christoph Robin. I guess that's how you say it. Um... It's sold at Sephora. It's like a high-end hair care brand. Yeah. I can't... His products are focused on sensitive and color-treated hair, which your girl has very color-treated hair. I've been balayaging and highlighting it since I was 13, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon because I love being blonde, and I'm obviously not naturally blonde. Um, I want to get into the shampoos and conditioners and kind of take it from there and see how they work. 
So speaking of hair, look at this. It's like killing me. I know you guys probably think I'm nuts, but like I like to have a lot of volume and like two sold te texture, but it's just laying so flat because it's dead. It's dead hair. Ugh. All right, sorry, having a moment. Back to the makeup bandwagon. Oh God, this hair, it's killing me kids. Um, all right, I wanna try some products from some pricier eyeshadow brands this year because you guys, I am an eyeshadow, eye makeup junkie. That's my love, but my so heart lies in all things eye makeup. Like send me all the eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascaras, send it all to me, I will love it. I will purchase it over and over again. There is no limit to the amount of eyeshadows I can have apparently, I just can't stop, it's a problem. So Natasha Denona makes stunning, stunning eyeshadow palettes. They just seem so buttery and creamy and like, I know today I'm using um, the Tarte, chrome paints on my lids, which I will link to another video that I am using these for, you know, you guys to see on video. But the Natasha Denona pressed eyeshadows remind, like seem like they apply just like this, but like a whole palette full of creamy shadows like that. So um, I've been dying to try them. They're just so expensive. They're like, I think the cheapest, I think she makes five pan palettes that are in the 50s, but I really want to get the, I don't know if it's called like the star palette. I will link it and like show you guys a picture of it here. I think it's like $130. It's something stupid expensive, but no one that I've seen has said anything bad about the quality of the products, minus the fact that the price is high. Um, but if you purchase off of Beautylist, you can split any payment over $100 into three, like over three months. So um, I'm looking into just doing that so it's a little more economically um, comfortable. So I might try doing it that way. The other brand that's very expensive in the eyeshadow game is Viseart, Visart, however you want to say it. I think it's Viseart. I don't know. But I know Emily Noel raves about them, Stephanie Nicole again raves about them, and everyone that I've read a review on say that they are beautiful. Now I've swatched them in Sephora, they seem extremely pigmented, barely any fallout, like they do seem like very high quality eyeshadows, but they are so expensive for the amount of product you get. But again, on the flip side, I see that you don't need a lot to get the level of in um, intensity and pigmentation that you'd want. So you probably don't need to use a lot, so it's gonna last you a long time. All right, we're back. I had to change my battery, and I think the lighting's gonna be different because the sun is at like its full capacity. And my camera's dying, my computer's dying, everything's falling apart, so I'm gonna finish this up fast. Viseart, so yeah, I'm gonna pick onto the Theory palettes is what I think my um, choice is going to be there because I think that's the best way for me to kind of just try them out and not spend a million dollars. Next brand on the more affordable landscape is Flower Beauty. This is a brand that was sold at Walmart for a couple years. It's owned by Drew Barrymore, and um, it always was attractive to me, but it was a little higher of a price point, especially at Walmart. I think this brand would have done much better in Target or Ulta, but for whatever reason, it was retailed at Walmart, and now I don't believe it is sold at Walmart in stores any longer. You can only get it online. So and now that I can get it at um, Ulta, I can at least use reward points. It's definitely gonna be on the drugstore side, so you can use your coupons. Um, I really wanna try their loose powder. They make like a loose setting powder. Casey Holmes talks about it for a long time on her channel, and her and I, Obviously, we share the same problem with the texture and the not great skin. So if she likes it, I totally want to try it. I also want to try their beauty sponge. Seems very squishy and awesome and affordable. So I want to try that. And I want to try like a blush and bronzer duo. They used to have those at Walmart and that was something that I was always very attracted to. And they make these... um like pigment shadows that I've been, I've always was looking at, I would always look at and never get. They make one that's like, I think it's called like cinnamon and it's like a warm brown, bronzy brown, typical of my life. But these are things that I've had my eye on from them that I'm really interested in trying now that they're gonna be somewhere that I feel like it's smart to spend my money. And the last two, we're going back onto the higher end side of things, Trish McAvoy. So this is a brand 
that is definitely in the high end side, but I have had friends over the years that have said wonderful things about Trish McAvoy products that they just look so beautiful on the skin, um, very luxurious, but just very refined and polished and pretty. And that is always my go-to with my makeup. I want it to look polished and pretty. I want it to be a little glam, but still attainable to the everyday woman. And I feel like that's very much the kind of looks I see from Trish McAvoy. And the last brand is one that I found from a makeup supply store in Houston that I used to shop at when I lived there. And I think this is like also kind of like an Instagram brand. It's called Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And let's see. They're California based. They are cruelty free too. Of course, a lot of these indie brands seem to be, which is so funny because you would think these bigger brands would get their stuff, get themselves together. Um, but there's this palette that they have that I need in my life. Yep. It's the center stage palette. I screenshotted it here, so I'll insert it here with the swatches. You're not even gonna be able to, you can't appreciate this beauty. But it looks like this is a palette of two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen 14 shades. Um, two are straight glitter shades that look crazy. Like, can you see on the ends up here, the end up here? Those glitter shades, oh, beautiful. But it's a very unique combination of colors. I'm just gonna stop showing you guys because I'll drop it in. So yeah, um, I am going to be trying that palette and I don't think it's even that expensive either, which is awesome. So, all right, that are, that are. I don't know where my brain cells go when I do these videos sometimes. But that is my brands that I wanna try in 2018. I will be sure to link the brands below, their Instagrams, and if I mentioned any like YouTubers or Instagrammers that I um, talked about, I will link them as well. If you're trying any new brands in 2018, let me know in the comments. I would love to learn about some new products. I'm definitely always on the market, so you keep me informed, guys. Uh, anyway, hope you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.